It's uh, September 1st. We're in the middle of the bay right now. And our destination today is going to be Harbor Club Marina in Sturgeon Bay. The goal of this trip is not to start the motor. And been doing really good so far with that. Been sailing anywhere from three to five and a half knots. The winds are beautifully on a beam reach. The winds are supposed to pick up as the day goes on, actually. Absolutely a gorgeous day. It's hot, but the breeze is light, and when it comes like this, it cools you right off. I just put everything away, and look at, I'm sweating. Ugh. Well, that's the day in the life Ooh. of sailing, right? I'm gonna go close the hatch, and then uh, take the head sail out, and then set our course. We're heading to Sturgeon Bay. We're gonna do a sail all the way from here to there, so we're thinking seven hours? Seven I and think a half? about that. Winch handle down there? Yep. yep. Setting the course. It's that away. We've got a gorgeous sail. We're probably been on the boat for an hour and a half, maybe two hours now. And we've got um, a beam reach. And we're cruising right now about four and a half knots, which is perfect. We're going to try and sail the entire way to um, Sturgeon Bay, Harbor Club Marina tonight. The idea is to not touch the motor tonight. We just It's one of our last nice voyages we're taking on the boat this year, most likely. And let's just let her be at that. Not try right to now it says we're going to be there at 9.30, so... Oh, yeah, we don't, we're not sure what time we're going to be there. It just depends on the wind. But it's awesome that there's no waves. I love it. Tonight, 10 o'clock, midnight, it's supposed to get a little bit breezy, so we should be on the channel by then. Beautiful night. Beautiful day. And today was an amazing day because I had my last CT scan yesterday, and I uh, got my results today, and I am fucking cancer-free, so yeah. awesome. So I'm like so excited to like just celebrate it and I couldn't ask for anything better than a sail on the bay with Mark. This is amazing. And this is a great day. I mean, the boat's flat, we're not healing. We're going, you know, 4.7, 4.5 knots, which is like perfect for our boat. And it's just, it's just like a great, it's just great. Probably going to be, unfortunately, one of our last major sails of the year. Um, we're in the middle of the bay right now. We left wind jammers about 2.15. And our destination today is going to be Harbor Club Marina in Sturgeon Bay. It's hard to say what time we're going to be there, but the goal of this trip is not to start the motor. And we've been doing really good so far with that. Been sailing anywhere from three to five and a half knots. The winds are beautifully on a beam reach. And um, the winds are supposed to pick up as the day goes on, actually. I think it's like five o'clock right now. We will probably get there around 9.30 to 10.30, I'm guessing. I prepared this from scratch. Just now, down below on the boat. I, I caught bullshit on that. I, I might have just opened a box and poured it in from the Chinese restaurant, but it's from scratch, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Mm. Hot Chinese food on a sailboat in the middle of the bay. As promised, here's my story for all the friends who stepped up and subscribed to our channel this month. Back in 2016, I was diagnosed with cancer and our world took a screeching halt. For two years, I was poked and prodded, scanned and assessed, had radiation, and countless Saturdays getting chemo. I was cleared for surgery on the same weekend as our first cruise with our new friends from the club. Thankfully, we were able to push it back. That's when I decided to document our trip for our friends and family. 
So I took some footage with my iPhone and many years later started our YouTube channel. That trip is our very first video and was the inspiration for our channel. Looking back, I can't believe how thin my hair was. Check it out. I'm gonna put the fenders on a little bit early tonight because I'd rather not do it after dark. And in case the wind picks up or whatever, at least they'll be set up and we don't have to worry about anything. That we think that the wind is going to pick up pretty good at like around 10. That's what we're thinking. So far our ETA is like right around 9.30. So um, hoping that that's the case. So the way the wind is right now and uh, the boat speed, the boat feel, the sun setting, overall temperature everything this is exactly the way it was when um, some friends of mine came up to waypoint to rescue the boat many years ago because Lori and I took a, a sail up to waypoint marina on labor day weekend and we started coming back on a monday and the waves were way well the wind was on the nose coming toward us and the waves were really big and we didn't really uh we weren't very comfortable in the boat at all so we turned around went back to the dock we actually called some friends they came and picked us up so then three uh, two other friends of ours hopped with me and we drove up here got dropped off and we sailed the boat back and it was just like this condition and I, that was one of the best sails we've ever had and i would say this is equal to it um, it's just amazing how when the wind works out like this and the, the ambiance is just perfect this is what we sail for this is what we always dream of when we say we're gonna go sailing on the weekends and I would say 3%, 5% of the time you'll get this. The rest of the time you're working at it. So, but it, this is what makes it worth it right here. It's beautiful. Wasn't there a really funny lettuce story? A lettuce story? Yeah. There was a little bit of a lettuce story. <laughs> um, and I don't think I could reenact the lettuce story like properly. Was it lettuce? Cold. It was it lettuce. Was, it was lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> we had, on that night, I was just talking about we're some guys were one guy was down below making sandwiches and i was up here talking smack and running the tiller and whatever and then he hands me a sandwich and he's handing them out but he didn't put any lettuce on them so me and a smart guy that was being and i said hey where the heck's the lettuce and within a matter of seconds a big old leaf of lettuce was flying out of the companionway smacks <laughs> me in the face <laughs> and we laughed so hard <laughs> there's your there's your lettuce <laughs> Had to be there. That was some good aim. Amazing sail on an amazing day. Oh. See, it says waypoint at that one place, but that that's wrong, right? Like it says waypoint way up there, but I think that is that wrong. Waypoint's in here. I know, but see, it says waypoint. I know. Yeah. Yeah, waypoint's gotta right. be in there. I it can't believe. It says waypoint right there. That's that, gotta be an imperfection. Yeah, yeah, something's wrong there. we were able to sail all the way to the channel. As soon as we turned the corner, the wind died, and then we noticed that the channel markers didn't have light beacons. They were correct on our GPS, but it was really dark, so we ended up motoring the rest of the way to Harbor Club. We are planning on posting the rest of the trip every day this weekend, so make sure to check back. If you want to be notified, subscribe and hit the notification bell. because I was looking at the sun so long, it, all of a sudden I see like a, a greenish spot about the size of the sun wherever I lift my eyes to them. Oh, yeah.
burrito? Mm. Mm, sure. There's one right there, you see it? Right there. Yep. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up. I'm gonna throw them in the water. Hope to see you out there.